Hi guys, welcome to Minish channel. Today I'm going to introduce my newly reorganized nano tanks, means nano aquarium. Compared to five to six months ago, I have changed a lot. I moved some fish from here to there and I purchased the new ones. So let me show you one by one from the left side. Okay, so this Tangulant tanks contains guppies as well as red cherry shrimps. So there are five of guppies including sunrise guppies and mosaic guppies and also tuxedo guppies and tiger guppy and double guppies like this. And there are usually 24 to 60 of red cherry shrimps some of variation depending on the time because whenever I sell these red cherry shrimps to local fish store um, there are usually 20 around 20 left so now around I, I would assume 20 to 25 of Red cherry shrimps are here because I recently sold 40 of them. As you see, that are, this is female, and I can I can tell that is female. So and behind is male. So lots of still lots of red cherry shrimps in it. Okay, and this tank is heated, and temperature is usually set up as 70, 78 there and its actual temperature is 77 or 76 like that which is optimal for breeding of red cherry shrimps and this contains a power filter as well as sponge filter and there are lots of plants including musk balls and others another one next this three gallon tank is changed to better fish tank basically I have now female koi betta as you see beautiful color so this is also set up as 77 or 78 degree actual temperature and it contains some of decoration in it so let me feed her like this she's responding well okay okay good job all right so maybe I am planning to um, breed this female with another male which I'm gonna show you now okay one more yeah good job so next to this tank is this guy so this contains male Dumbo Half Moon Bera. Ooh, where are you now? Let me show you. Mm. Okay, he's here. Yep, come on. All right. So this guy's beautiful. I don't know whether I can succeed to breed. with koi betta breed him with koi betta okay he has been with me for quite a long time so far at least more than one year okay right I bet him now all right next to this tank is this tank, this tangled tanks is contains lots of fish in it. So this is fully planted as you see, and this is antler fish. There are five of antlers, copy antler fish, including these Larry tail guys, and some of small ones. And there are six of neon tetras as you see, usually. Yeah, schooling. I just fed them just five to ten minutes ago. 
Oh dear. And there are there are neon yellow shrimps. One of the red cherry shrimp. Uh, sorry, one of red uh, one of cherry shrimps. So these neon yellow shrimps I'm targeting to breed. There are now eleven of them in it. So they prefer this kind of environment, um, which is 76 to 77 degree for breeding. And I have lots of plants, including moss balls and other plants in it. And somehow some hideouts. I'm feeding them with some Bacter AE, which is known to be good for breeding. So hopefully, one of them I found, she's buried. Maybe take those. Yeah, you can you can see the eggs in it. Yeah. So hopefully within a few weeks, she can uh, have lots of baby shrimps. Hopefully they will survive. Okay. All right, and there are some of nearby snails here and. I have mystery snail in it. I don't know whether you can see it. Uh, that big guy behind. Yeah. So, I like this mystery snail. He's eating a lot. And eating leftovers whenever I feed, feed bad enough food to the fish. Okay, next to this tank is... This tank, this is 6.8 gallon of tank. You Originally I used to have male beta here, but he passed away several weeks ago. I think he was too old. He has been with, with me for uh, over two years, two and a half years, like that, from the beginning. So he got some disease and passed away. Uh, and I decided to change this tank to blue velvet shrimp tanks. Um, like this guy. There are, I think, currently eight of them in it. I recently added to this tank. So, like the other cherry shrimp, this is one of the cherry shrimp with different color, blue color. Blue velvet or blue dream sh shrimps. Um, they are quite active. They like algae, and I feed I feed them with Bacter AE also. All right, this tank is set up as a seventy six degree currently now. Actual temperature, and this has also some of plants in it like moss balls. And this contains two internal filter. Okay. Additional filters, mini filters there also. In addition to original filter. Okay. All right. I wanted to show you more shrimps, but um, yeah. So currently, there are not that many shrimps in it. Only eight of them. So, okay, another one there. All right, next to this tank is, this tank is 5.5 gallon tank. Originally, I had a wild crayfish in it, um, whose name was Pohangi. He has been with me, actually he was the original member, original fish member. Uh, that gives me the reason why, uh, why I started this aquarium hobby, aquarium keep, uh, fish keeping hobby. He has been with me for s or around three years, and I think he was too old, because at the beginning he already, already he was like over one year old. Anyway, he passed away um, like uh, several weeks ago, and and I buried him nicely. So this tank has been changed to new fish tank, including this guy, bamboo shrimp. So 
So I like this guy, but this guy is somehow um, shy and hide a lot during the daytime, but he's active during nighttime. So this is, I think, male bamboo shrimp with brownish color. Uh, and um, there is one green jade cherry shrimp in it. I cannot find out now. And also there are um, four of pygmy quarries, including this guy here. Uh, they are usually active, but hmm, maybe they are taking some rest somewhere. Hmm. Okay, let me. Yeah. So there, there are two of filters in it. So one sponge filter, one box filter, and this doesn't have contain heater. This is around seventy degree now. Okay, and then. Um, next to this tank is this tank is 10 gallon tank and it contains heater which is set at 76 degree and also this contains lots of fish including several types of daniels like this pearl daniel, zebra daniels, leopard daniel, longfin leopard daniel and glowfish zebra daniel and there are four of these Amano shrimps. One of them are buried now. This Amano shrimps female. It, she's buried. And I know that uh, she cannot have babies in this fresh water. Um, and there are several types of corridors, including this skunk cori. And Julie Curry, false Julie Curry, and also Panda Curry here. Yeah, five of them. And there is some horned and right snail in it. And this contains also power filter and sponge filter in it. All right, next to this tank is these two small tank, very tiny tank, two gallon and three gallon tank. In this two gallon tank, there are only just the wild um, minnows, basically baby minnows, which I got here after breeding. Um, so three of them are here, and also some neurite snail is in it, and it contains one sponge filter, no heater, and some of plants in it. And another three gallon tank contains Basically, another original member of my hobby, uh, which I got from Black Hill River, like uh, the other crayfish, mm, Huangi. There are four of wild minnows in it. Yeah. Usually, they used to breed and have baby minnows, but uh, they stopped breeding, breeding now for some reason. And. I need to find out another member, another fish, uh, which is a dwarf frog. Where is, are you now? Hmm, she, he was here just now. Yeah, sometimes he's fine. Hard to, he's fine, it's hard to find out. Okay. There you go, he's here. This African dwarf frog. He's eating well and he's very active like this. So only one because of the uh, tank size. I have only one now. Okay, he's a cute guy. All right, and one horned in right snail here all right and this is also planted Contain, contains two filters one box filter is somehow not working well 
Uh, I, need, I need to fix it when I, when I change water next time. All right, this is it. So, I just introduced my reorganized means nano aquarium. Thank you for watching and have a nice and pleasant day. Bye.